turn right, then turn left. Don't get ah! panicky, Brenda. <laughs> Shut up, Brenda. Hi guys, I don't know if you can see me, but I thought I would vlog today. I wasn't actually going to, but we've come to this really fun place. At least I think it's fun. This is my idea of a fun time. We've come to a retail park and there's a big next home and a Starbucks and we're going to go to Tesco, Marks and Spencers and B&Q. <laughs> And I can't wait. I love shops like this. I get really excited. This is my idea of a fab day. I think we're gonna go to Starbucks for a drink first, and then we're gonna go food shopping. Woo! You know it still hurts a little bit, but not that much. Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's alright. I'm starting to get used to it, think I'll survive I met you in the summer When you left it was cold Said we loved one another Guess that we were wrong I met you in the summer Our love was out of control I've been going crazy without you so long I met you in the On our way to MS now. Oh, also, we've just applied for tickets for Loose Women for Mum, myself, Hannah, and Hannah's mum, which is gonna be so fun because we've wanted to go for so long. Me and Hannah always used to talk about it. So, hopefully, we get some tickets and we can go. That's in a couple of weeks' time. Here we are, cheeky little MS. give you a quick little overview of what I got because I got some different things to what I normally got so I got leeks lemon carrots oranges new potatoes big potatoes spring onion because I've got this obsession with spring onion at the minute beef and pot tomato pot noodle just to have in my cupboard well obviously to eat <laughs> but if I've got nothing else to eat hummus tomato and basil soup. I got this vi violi parmesan wedge to try because I'm not eating dairy and stuff. And I also got the cheese, which I haven't heard that good things about the slices, but I wanted to try them anyway, just in case I like them. I got a deodorant, some bagels, some potato smiley faces, because I'm literally 12. Some porridge oats. I got garlic bread. One of them is for my freezer, or they might both be, to be honest. I got sweet corn, pasta, another one of them for my cupboard. Some beetroot. And then I just found this in a random fridge section. It's a vegetable chow mein. It looks quite nice, though. Yum. Got some spaghetti hoops, and the nicest sauce ever for pasta is this one. And I also got a boona as well, so more Indian-y one then my mum got some beans and some of that whatever that is then i just got a blueberry alpro yogurt all of these milks i've never tried this one and someone says it tastes like the inside of a kinder bueno so i'm gonna try that and then this one is really nice in cups of tea and then this one is really nice in cereal i have like a regime with milk now then my mum got this i've got some vegetable stock cube and some noodles as well which actually don't have any chicken in i've got these hobnobs because they are dairy free as are these and party rings i've got some poppadoms some more noodles. My mum got this almond milk yogurt, which looks quite nice. I didn't actually realise that was blueberry. I want to try that. Then I've got an oatly custard and some onion bhaji burgers, which are lovely. Nelson, what are you doing? On the side, what are you doing? And then I've also got a conditioner, a shampoo. They're my favourites right now. And some comfort for my washer. guys welcome to another day i'm just eating porridge and i need to put my makeup on because i have a mortgage advisor coming round today to talk to me about that stuff and he's coming at half past two and it's now quarter to one and mom and i also have to go to the shops before he gets here so i'm gonna hurry up pop some makeup on not a big fan of blueberries but they were the only fruit that i had today so i've had to put them in they're a bit meh Tea? 
This is their love. I to do new series called Guys, my camera's broke. Please. No. Oh my god. It's working. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I just dropped my camera in my porridge. The focus wouldn't work, so I thought it was dead, but it's not. It's alive and well. Nelly's back there. Still eating my porridge, but I've just finished my makeup, so I need to get ready because we need to head out. I'm really, oh, I've got hiccups. Trying to chill out today because I feel very anxious and I don't know why. I've woken up just feeling very, very panicky. And my fake tan's gone bad. <laughs> That's not why I'm anxious. It's just, it's gone so bad. I don't know if you can see on my arm, I have the weirdest arms because I've got them scars. Which I don't like. Yeah, because I've got them scars which I don't really show because I don't wear short sleeves. But um, my arms have gone so bad with fake tan and they've gone so scaly. It's so strange. I don't know if you can see that properly. But yeah, it's gone so bad and I can't get it off. Ah, or maybe you'll be able to see this bit. I think it's worse on this arm. I have this like white patch in the middle. But yeah, rest assured that is not why I'm feeling panicky today. <laughs> Some days you just feel anxious, like you wake up and you just feel anxious and today has been one of those days but I'm trying to fight through it. As I said, I've got my mortgage advisor coming at 2.30 and it's now about 1.30 so I'm just making sure my house is a little bit tidier. I don't know why I'm in this room, I think it's because it's the only real quiet room in my house right now. Yeah, I have no idea what they're renovating out here, they've stopped it now because it's around lunchtime. I have like houses behind my window let me show you properly and they're the backs of houses and i don't know where this noise is coming from but it's just like constant drilling and i can't work it out because when i look there's actually nothing there so i'm wondering if it's on that lane there and it's just so loud that i can hear it i'm really not sure But yeah, I keep my socks in here in case you care. So let's get some socks. Woo, party. I'm going to be selling a lot of my furniture. So if you guys like any, let me know in the comments because I'm planning on selling quite a bit of furniture. I know I'm selling those drawers down there. They were from Urban Outfitters. They were like 300 or 400 pounds. It's crazy. But yeah, I think I'm just going to sell everything for like 100 or 150 because they're not damaged at all. But I will show you what I'm selling. This, I think my mum actually wants for her bathroom. This is going with me. This I am selling. I might actually have to sell it for less because these stickers they're really sticky and I think they're going to leave some sort of mark, but I'm not actually sure because I haven't tried getting them off yet. Ah, uh, yeah, they're going to leave some sort of black mark. Maybe, oh, I don't know. What do I do? <laughs> I might be selling this Ikea mirror. Again, I'm not entirely sure if I will, but I think I probably might do. I'm going to be selling this bar cart. It's gorgeous, but it doesn't fit anywhere in my new house. So yeah, it's just gold. It was from Oliver Bonus. So that is gonna be sold. This is real marble as well. It's so heavy. Pretty sure this mirror is gonna go as well. And possibly this, this as well. <laughs> I'm covering up my address. Yeah, that might have to go. And then in this room, I might be selling my makeup drawers, but again, with the stickers on them, I am not sure if I can slash if I will, cause they're gonna leave a mark on them, which sucks. Why did I put these on? <laughs> They look nice, but when it comes to stuff like this, it just leaves a mark. But I think I will probably sell this chair. And this shelf might have to go as well, which is gorgeous. I love this shelf and it took me so long to build it. But yeah, that might have to go. And then I'm selling both of my sofas and my coffee table, that one there. So yeah, I've got quite a lot of things to sell. I'm thinking of just putting them on like Gumtree or something, but if any of you guys are interested and you live around Brighton, leave a comment in what you're interested in and I will know to then like try and sell it on Depop when it comes to the time. I'm not gonna sell it right now because obviously I'm still living here right now, but in like a month or two's time, I will definitely list them if any of you guys are interested. <coughs> Does anyone else sneeze at the sun? I swear. I am not made for the sun. Ah. So regarding this sofa, I have recently got all new um, cushions on it. So these are new. That's where I've been sat. 
but yeah all of these cushions are new on it so there's nothing left of bean on it <laughs> if any of you were here for that drama it's perfectly clean and pretty much brand new because they are about a month and a half old and then this one is absolutely fine this sofa my mum just went to the co-op by the way she just went to get some milk and bananas for the people who are coming god i've got holes in the bum of my leggings i'm gonna have to buy some new ones <gasps> i wonder if my personal trainer's been seeing my bum <laughs> mum bought me some flowers because <laughs> she's so cute oh i'm gonna pop this in my vase now, I've actually just bought a new vase, I'll show you. It was from Tesco and it was in the sale. I think it was like five pounds. Look, it's like matte white and pink, it's so pretty. Excuse me, Smelson. <laughs> Smelson my goosey pants, you are not allowed on the side. Oh, I don't know even if they'll fit, Mom. Unless I rip some leaves off. One more. You can do it, little pot. Oh, Nelly. Let me see on the side again. Smell said. Here is my bouquet of flowers. How pretty are they? Got the cutest mum in the whole wide world. So I've just been getting this little biscuit plate ready because we've got people coming to my house. I've put party rings, lotus biscuits, rich tea and what do you call them? Hobnobs. I'm ready now. I've just put this jumper on that I totally forgot I had. It's kind of bat winged, but then it goes small at the cuff. And I don't remember where this one was from. Maybe ASOS. But yeah, we're just waiting for the people to get here. I've just put some biscuits on the table beautifully. Such a good host, honestly. <laughs> So we've just <laughs> finished the meeting and I just had an urge to take these pictures off the wall. So I have, because they reflect everything. So I just took them down. And now it looks really bare. Now this bit looks really bare because there's two big pictures on there. But yeah, I think we're gonna, mum wants to go to Velvet, don't you? Yeah, mum wants to go to Velvet. So we're going to, Velvet is a shop if you don't know. It's in Hove and it's cute. It's got loads of homeware stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got loads of homeware stuff and like some clothing bits. This is not an ad, this sounds very sponsored, okay. We're gonna go. Oh, I haven't shown you my new phone case. I got this from a shop called Hello Harriet and I thought I would pop it in and show you. So it's like this, look, it's like a little moody cat. <laughs> it's so cute. I'm gonna link it below because it's the cutest thing. We are going for a coffee at the Small Batch Coffee Roasters. We can see it right now. Mum says it's nice. I don't think I'm in focus. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm not. It's now ages later. I don't know what's going on with my hair. I need to plait this side, but I haven't got round to it. This one is just in a French plait. I, I was doing Dutch braids where the plait like stands out on top. But I actually really like how French plaits are looking right now. They're just so cute. But I thought I would show you what I've been getting up to tonight. I have been prepping food. So let's have a look in my French. This is what I've been up to. I made a huge batch of pasta for lunches and stuff. It's just got a tomato and garlic sauce and some sweet corn in. And it is so delicious. So that will keep in the fridge for three or four days. And I can just get a bit whenever I don't have time to make a meal. I also made some mashed potato. I am the queen of mashed potato. Ask anybody. I make the best mash. I was even employed to make the mash on Christmas day which is a big deal. <laughs> then I made some cabbage and then I made some crushed carrot because tomorrow I'm gonna have mashed cabbage, carrot and I have some stuffing balls which a couple are actually here because I cooked them thinking I'd want them tonight and then I didn't fancy it tonight after I cooked it all. So I'll probably just heat these two back up tomorrow. And then I got this container, I think it was from Amazon. If I can find it, I will link it below for you because I've had a lot of questions about it on Snapchat. And this is an amazing container. It's got three sections as you can see and then at the bottom are these 
and they basically push in so it makes it flat once you've finished with whatever's in it. So it's really handbag friendly and I've just got some grapes, some of these chickpea crisps which are delicious, it's these. It's the Hippies Chickpea Puffs and these are sweet and smoking and honestly potentially one of my favourite crisps ever in general. And then I have some of the pasta in here because I'm actually going to London tomorrow. I have a meeting with my management and then I'm seeing Hannah as in fabulous Hannah and I can't can't wait because I haven't seen her since a Christmas party but before that I hadn't seen her for so so long. So I think we'll probably just go for a drink and a big catch up or something. But yeah, I have made myself a pet lunch. I'm excited. Mm -mm -mm. Better not eat it right now. Oh my god, stop eating it Gary. Stop eating it now. Mmm, them grapes are so good. I might also put a little blob of hummus maybe on top of my pasta or something. Anyway, my mum has gone home now. She has to go to a funeral tomorrow, actually, so she had to leave. I'm gonna pop this back in the fridge. All I'm gonna do tonight is paint my nails. It's now 10 p.m. by the way, so I'm gonna watch Big Brother. I've taped it so I can fast forward the adverts. I'm gonna plait the rest of my hair and I'm gonna paint my nails, which I have been biting, which is so bad. I need to stop that. So I think I'll probably sign the vlog off here. I will be back soon with a video obviously and i am currently in the middle of filming a what i eat in a week video which will be up on my main channel i'm doing it from wednesday to tuesday rather than from monday to sunday because i just had the idea on a tuesday night and i was like you know what i want to start filming this right now so it'll probably be up as next wednesday's video so look out for that on my main channel if you're not subscribed to that channel definitely do i'm going to be posting all different kinds of videos that you guys will probably be interested in like a lot more vloggy style and stuff Hmm, stuffing you know when you've got things in your kitchen and you're not even hungry but you just pick at them that is literally me in a sentence oh before i go i have a question <laughs> do you guys prefer when I do one single thumbnail with just one picture or do you prefer when I do one thumbnail with four pictures and writing on it? I'm going to leave a little poll in the corner up here. Please vote in it so that I know. I think I'm going to make this vlog a full one to give you an example but there, if you go on my channel the rest of my vlogs recently have just been a one picture so please tell me which one you're more likely to click on because that would be interesting for me to know if you just vote in the poll as i said that would be very very nice of you and i'm gonna head off give this vlog a thumbs up i keep eating this damn stuff here if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you'd like to see more of me and i'll see you in my next one bye